Bubble Bank. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to review the Dyson Airwrap. But first, this is not a sponsored video, and English is not my native language, so please don't judge me on that. Let's jump right in. I'm going to show you all the brushes and barrels that include in the box. One, the dryer. It comes with three switches: the power switch, the airspeed switch, and the heat switch. Two, the pre-styling dryer. It preps your hair for the other step. I don't really use it. Three, the soft smoothing brush. It dries your hair and makes it look really, really natural, just like a blow dry finish. Four, a firm smoothing brush. Very similar to the soft smoothing brush. It dries your hair, but it makes your hair straight. Five, the round volumizing brush. Just like a typical round brush, it adds volume to your hair. Here comes the highlight: the 1.2 inches Arab barrels. There are two of these for the different directions of the curl. It creates tighter curls, suits for women who have fine hair. Last but not least, the 1.6 inches Arab barrels. There are also two of these as well. It creates bigger and looser curls, suits for women who have thick hair. After using the Dyson Arab to do my mom's hair for a while. Here are my thoughts. Let's begin with what I like first. One, both of the soft smoothing brushes can dry my mom's hair really, really quickly compared to the normal dryer. Two, versatility. You can do a lot with the Dyson Airwrap, including dry, curl, straighten, and add volume to your hair. Three, it helps makes my mom's hair look a bit shinier. Four, it doesn't damage your hair as much compared to the flat iron and the curling iron. Five. It's beginners friendly. You can curl your hair really, really easy. Even my mom can do it. Six. The curls look really nice and bouncy. I'm going to attach the clip of me using the Dyson Airwrap on my mom's hair and also post the before and after pictures. Now let's move on to the things that I don't like so much about the Dyson Airwrap. One, complication. With many brushes and barrels in the kit, it does make my life a bit complicated by switching between brushes and barrels while doing my mom's hair. Two, sometimes the curl won't last. Usually the curl will last about one to two hours, depending on how well I dry them. But it can be solved by using a hair mousse. Three, it increases the styling time. This might sound funny. Well, if you are someone who wash your hair every day and wants to dry it and style it at the same time, that does cut some time. But if you're someone who doesn't wash your hair every single day, just like my mom, then it will increase the styling time because you have to make your hair damp in order to curl your hair. It took about 15 seconds to dry each small sections of my mom's hair. Finally, the obvious reason: the price tag. The Dyson Airwrap is not cheap. With this price tag. It should come with someone to do your hair for you. Just kidding. This brings me to the end of my review. I have to say that Dyson had done so much research to come up with such an innovative product as the Dyson Airwrap. Is it worth it? Yes, I've been using it to do my mom's hair almost every day. I get what I paid for. If money is not your concern, then I highly recommend the Dyson Airwrap. But if you have kind of the money issues, then I think you can start. Saving right now. I hope this review is helpful, and if you like this video, please hit that like button, and also share and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. I will try to make the review videos in two languages like this. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye bye.